Alright, so we've walked the path of Varus. Which begs the question, what the... <sighs> yeah, meh, yawn. Okay, begs the question what the remaining rooms are for. I guess just treasure and loot and whatever. Well, I could shortcut my way out of here, but that seems kind of disingenuous. People gave me shit for that in uh, Hollow Knight, and honestly, uh, chances are we're never going to come back to this dungeon ever again. So I should probably, you know, see it to its fullest extent as opposed to ignore it. Plus, we get those, uh, those actually super convenient uh, knowledge tomes if I get all the lore. Which, like, that's got to be one of my favorite parts about this game. Just the fact that if you do get all the uh, the lore knowledge and whatnot, you get uh, pretty sizable boosts. At least they feel sizable. They're probably not. I don't know. Every little bit helps. I'm curious how much uh, harder this game would have been if I hadn't been so... Uh, downright particular? I don't know. Um, I got... I, I've gone fairly far out of my way to uh, get as strong as possible in this. Let's see. So we could do a gravity punch. Cripple. Huh. Reckoning is actually pretty good. But yeah, let's just let's just thunder. Yeah, Gully's little uh start of start of fight damage shield she gets is pretty good. Has been very helpful throughout this entire fight. Oh hey, we could probably use time stop freely. Not on this fight, I think. I think it's a little late for uh for that, considering how low HP this guy has. There he goes. But yeah, in our next fight, I think I'll I think I'll try uh, Nolan's Nolan's time stop. Did I call him Varus? I might have. I don't know. I this dungeon is ruining me. The longer I'm here, the sleepier I get. I can't get through there. Huh. Oh, duh. My brain's catching up. Okay. Hey, and Nolan starts first as if as if it knows. Okay, so burst. Oh, right. What's Wings of Varus increases haste by 10%. Not exactly the most useful, but it's nice. So let's see what Time Stop does. Book. Okay, so we get the many turns of Nolan. Let's do an Arcane Storm. Holy shit, this is actually really good. Because... Yeah. This is real good. Because more or less just lets him uh, wail on people freely. And he gets... Tons of turns. Supposedly only gets uh, four turns from this. Oh, I see. Turns remaining one. Yeah, has warped time and can act continuously until the buff expires. Okay. Well, Arcane Storm is supposed to be paired with Arcane Explosion. Uh, so, 1,500 if they're under the effects of Ignite Chill or Arcane Sickness, which all of them... Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, I've never actually pulled this combo off. I mean, it didn't do much damage, but that's because it didn't have much HP. But yeah, if you, you can alternate between those two and do tons of damage if you want to. Which is cool. The memory. Nope, already read that one. No. Oh. Why would I close that door? Unless... no. There's... I don't... 
I'm confused why the lever would close the one door. Maybe it's supposed to be more puzzly than it is. But I don't have a proper answer for that at all. Let's see. But yeah, so I think once we're done with the Crimson Gardens, I'm probably going to go to... Ooh. That one's actually pretty hurt there, isn't he? Yeah, let's do Amend Wounds. I think once we're done with the Crimson Gardens, I'm probably going to go out of my way to... Um... To get all of the legendary weapons. I don't know if I'm going to get them all on camera, because some of them might just involve farming the... Um... Oh, he has a ton of HP. Uh, like, a number of them might just involve me running the Crimson Gardens a couple of times on my own, which is not exactly what I'd say... I, I wouldn't say that's the most uh, attractive of prospects. Uh, it might actually just be easier for me to... Um, it might just be easier for me to... Do a mass heal, considering she's starting to take damage here. Probably should have actually just queued up another execute. This guy has stupid HP. Yeah, we'll do another execute. Shatter. Shatter is a good move. Okay, so he's buffing himself. Not a big deal. We'll just keep doing mass heal. Punch him. Yeah. Guess I could have taunted. She's got tons of HP. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'll get all the legendary weapons, and then we can go take on the final, final dungeon. Without, without fear. Hey, Nolan's up to 28. Only two perk points. We can't. Uh, now that we're at this point, we pretty much cannot unlock anything else in the game. Uh, we already have everything, which is cool. Okay, yeah, let's just wail on this guy. We've burnt through a lot of my mana here. Except for Nolan, actually. Right, because every time I cast even his basic spell, he gets some back. Be nice if it actually gave the whole party some, but... Well, whatever. Not a big deal. Um... But yeah, so I'll, I'll go get the, uh, the rest of the legendary weapons on or off camera. Might mean it might take a day or two of not recording. We'll see. I've I'm fairly strapped for time just because I gotta finish some other things. Always got more things to finish. Too many games. All right, don't go through the poison farts. Oh, we went through that just for that. Seventy nine gold. It's not like I'm not extremely loaded. I am very wealthy. Okay, so is there anything? Ah, there's a book. The Cold Road. Nope, already read this one. All right, uh, so there is a there is a treasure chest. Oh, here we go. This appears to be the a previous inhabitant's diary. A woman named Mara. Thumbing through it, you pick up that she is falling in love with a man named Leonard, though she has some concerns about him. I went with Leonard to the gardens today to our usual spot. We walked in circles until I gently reminded him where it was. When we were talking, he stopped suddenly and asked me about what we were talking about. Sometimes the hardest thing to remember is what just happened, he said. I'm not sure if Leonard said something profoundly metaphysical or if he's just a little slow. Yeah, let's go get the treasure chest. Oh. Well, it's up there. Oh, here we are. As you approach this visage, a voice echoes in your mind as if it was coming from all sides of you. Memory's dull, nothing remains. Time subjugates all. Speak to me the name that I cannot recall. What do you reply, Leonard? There are several moments of silence before you finally hear yes, as if someone was remembering something. A clue! A clue! We didn't... Well, no, actually the infernal oil is probably rather handy. I don't know, we'll find out. I might already have, like, a bunch of it, too. That's the other kind of sad thing, is, uh... I get a ton from those treasure caches, so it's never been particularly... 
hard for me to... Oh, made it past. Nice. Owie. Oh. I never did get this, because I was getting lasered in the butt. Well, let's switch to... Let's switch to Nolan. He's got plenty of HP. And, yeah, except for the mushroom. We are... We are done. Well, no. I guess if we're done, that probably means we're capable of going into the boss fight. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, because there should be one of those crystals that heals me to full. Unless there's more to this dungeon here. We'll find out. Look, the path is open. We draw ever closer to Destra. Yeah, okay, this... Yep, boss time. Well, I'm ready for it. Is... That's not Destra. That's a beholder. A far... A farseer here... You've arrived too late. Ferris will return. Destra will succeed because of your efforts. We will not fall for your lies. It matters not you will die in this place. It is foretold. Yeah, it's a beholder. It's a freaky ass beholder. So do we do heroism? Let's do heroism. Let me see. Distracting shot, evasion chance, guaranteed crit, death blossom. No. I remember really the answer is just always execute. Does he have any buffs? Yes. Wow, this thing is uh, not very durable. Well, that works for me. Almost immediately gets its super move. I'm glad I put that shield on. All right, well, we could love bomb it, actually. First, assassinate. This might be a two-shot boss. I... <laughs> well... That makes it easier. Farseers are dangerous. Each of their orbs contain hundreds even thousands of events throughout history. They can also manipulate sight, affecting how beings perceive the world around them. Lucas's friend Destro was using this one for such a purpose. You may want to look away. Wait, what are you... to bring Varus before Kadral, so he might complete their pact and take Varus's body as his vessel. In doing so, Kadral will be free of his prison, his power unchecked. You said Destra was one of Varus's most devoted followers. Why would she betray him? For power, glory. As Varus withered, she likely grew restless. Perhaps she is ready to serve a new, more dangerous master. Still... What? This Farseer. I believe it was using its power to obscure reality. I could... sense it, you might say. Its gaze was focused on Kadral. Meaning Destra is hiding something from him. Where are they now? The manor rifts to the west. The demon's prison. Destra must have hidden the entrance from us, using the Farseer's magic. Then it's not hidden anymore. Let's go. All right. Oh, that's neat. Having a uh, Steam big picture mode open actually uh, changes how how uh, achievements are uh, show up. 
I don't know if it's better, but it's different. I almost never use Steam Big Big Picture Mode, but I've got this fancy controller and I figured I should probably use it. At least a little bit. Okay, so I think I can go make another legendary weapon here, so we'll go do that. Uh, after that, I hell if I know what, what to do with myself. I mean, at this point, we're pretty much... Everybody is capable of, uh, using their legendary weapons, I believe. Except for maybe, G yeah, Garrison can't. I think he's the only one, uh, who's too low of level. I really wish I could actually just solo adventure with a guy just to get them bonus EXP, but can't. Well, we'll see what, we'll see what we have to do. I've got a whole laundry list of objectives and sub-objectives and side things to do. We technically don't have all the recipes for uh, for every every weapon here. One thing I do want to do is stick my head in the mana pits. If we're lucky, we can get a, a treasure chest uh, unlock for for the mana pits, and that actually would be really really nice. So let's go over here and see if I can just poke my head in, and then I'll almost immediately leave, because all I have to do is enter the place. And then I'm good to go. Yeah, it looks like I can freely just enter. There's one critter in the way. Damn you, creature! Okay, two creatures. Whatever, not a problem. Oh, that just wiped the floor with it. Okay, sure. That's easy. Yeah, the hardest part about getting the legendary weapons is probably still going to be Gully. That's not something I'm looking forward to, but I don't really have a choice. All right, so yeah, I'll I'll enter it on average. Let's see if I can challenge myself for the final dungeon. Hopefully, this isn't the point of no return. That'd be unfortunate. And bye. Yeah, originally I thought this was going to be a, a shorter game. Maybe? I don't know. I, I'm i having a hard time deciding how how to judge this game on, like, the time-to-value proposition. I mean, no matter what, it was worth the money, but, like, it feels so small, yet it was actually fairly long. But part of that was grinding and a couple other things. I don't know. I don't really know how to think about it. Still super appreciative. Definitely one of my favorite RPGs, probably of all time. Yeah, anyway, let's see what here. I can forge. So, we still need a Desecrated Soul Shard of the Powerful. Uh, can't make that. Can't make that. We need we need to get the Salvage Behemoth Cannon, which will take some time. Okay, so I gotta find out... Well, the Desecrated yep. Soul Shard of the Powerful well, should be really all, easy man. to do. I just have to find out where that hunt is. Greetings again. Because, yeah, we've got the Hunger and the Gentleman. The Gentleman is uh, specifically for Nolan. Maybe not, actually. I don't know yes. where to get that Soul Goodbye. Shard. Well, it's fine. Because I have Google. Oh, jeez. What did that do? That did stuff. Okay, it's back. Huh. Okay, I guess you guys just aren't going to be able to see. So, oh... Desecrated Soul Shard of the Powerful is a Talos Arena reward for 3,200 battle marks in a single round. That's not bad. Okay. These are all kind of a pain in the ass. Where's Alamon's? Okay, so we have to we have to do a couple of things. We might actually be able to do Alamons pretty easily. Except for I gotta oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go fight the Farseer at least one more time. So I actually have to go back to Banog Cave. Which I think is this one directly over here. I think it is. Cause there's a uh there's a critter ish. There's the there was the portal. Or, no, there's a portal in the... I 
I don't remember. Oh, we already got the bulwark. So actually, I'm just missing the recipe for Alamon. Okay. Hold on. Let's just finish off the remaining two hunts. That'll be easier. So let's let's go after the hunger and the gentleman. Let me see. Oh. Okay. So for the hunger, I have to go back into the Crimson Garden, fill the empty vessel of the hunger, which I've already done, and get three vampire fangs, which I should already have. And then I go back and fight the hunger. Where's the gentleman? I have to go watch her. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, no, not doing that on camera. Not, not at all worth it. I guess this will just be a, a short episode or something. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, no. I, I'm going to have to go effectively make the gentleman. Uh, which is going to take some time. Oh, yeah. I know what I can do. Sorry, I uh, I got really distracted there, obviously, trying to figure out what to do. But effectively, uh, somewhere in that pause, my vo my throat suddenly is just like, By the way, you're sore now. And that just, that was just it. Right, we're gonna go to the guy here. Hopefully we can get, uh, we can buy those loot, loot chests. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we can get the Manor Rift's lockbox, though I only can get two. Well, that's fine. I'll come back for more later. <laughs> so let's see what we can get from the, uh, the Manor Rift's lockboxes. I am not capable of doing things right now. Guy is fruit. These. Okay, Sky Steel Plate Mail. Yeah, some of this shit's pretty good. Yeah, okay, so there's a whole another tier of gear to get. I was wondering about that. I guess the other thing I should probably do is Minor Tome of Knowledge. I'll throw it to Gully. We still have the Fate Stone, but I'm gonna have to go refight. Let's see if these guys sell new things. The flames do My knowledge burn. is yours. Yep. There are new enchantments. Hey, then. Which Goodbye. probably means there's new crafting recipes. I actually haven't checked the alchemist either. Yep. Welcome. So I should probably do that too. Okay. Does he carry? I don't know if he carries everything that we need. I'm just gonna buy everything past a certain amount just in case I need it. I'll be here. Okay, yeah, let's go let's go talk to the alchemist too. I don't ever use alchemy Something ingredients. I probably should. Trade anima shards. Okay. They're quite useless to you naturally, but I know a recipe or two that needs them. For your troubles, here's some revival flasks. Ah, Fitting. Welcome. Interesting. Didn't know I had, didn't know that was a thing. Okay, so it doesn't look like he actually is selling any more yes? new Where recipes. Where are here. you going? Well, don't care. Yeah, let's let's learn all these books. Is there an easier way to do it? No, that's not easier. Ah. I really wish it didn't have the like use on party thing here. Who's this for? Ah, Alamon. And that's Tome of Runic Bindings. Well, let's go see what I can craft, because I apparently Whoa. can craft and enchant some cool stuff. So we need Flactories, Northwind Leather. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow, some of these even required like sparse fate stones and shit. Oh, that's gonna take some time and effort. Well, can I make the refined sky steel ingots? Yes, I can. Okay, so I can at the very least make a whole bunch of these. But I think between episodes, I'm going to go out of my way to uh, get a bunch of artifact points, go go get the necessary stuff. I I will probably do episodes on fighting the gentleman and the hunger. Uh, or it might just be one episode uh, where I do both. 
Because it just, it's more steps than I can possibly do in one episode here. And I'd rather, uh, I'd rather spend my time doing fun stuff. Or at least, you know, reasonably finishable things. Uh, though my voice dying like this is kind of rough. Because I have work tonight. Okay. We're done with that. Let's make some North Wind Leather, too. Because I think I think we needed some of this for a couple of these recipes. Yeah, I've already got a ton of epic parts. Which is helpful. Really wish I could mass produce these. Like, why didn't they... Why didn't they let me make, like, ten at a time? <laughs> some of these feel like kind of weird design oversights. I guess they've never really had a crafting system in, their game, in any of their games before, so I can kind of understand this. But I would love it if they didn't... Uh, if they do make Battle Chasers 2, they don't do this. Oh, we're out of that. Okay, so what can I make? So I can make the Starforge plating really easily. I probably can make the Guardian's Embrace. Vestments of Fate. Yeah, so we gotta, we gotta go make the um, Flickering Void Silk as well. Oh. I'm gonna make every every last one I possibly can, cause yeah, if I can fully, I've, if I can, this is this is the end game armor. Though, maybe I'll go get those lock boxes first. Yeah, I'll get the lock boxes first just in case uh, it gives me equally good end game armor. Cause why spend semi rare crafting components when I can easily just make it? The other thing we want to do is go take a look at enchantments. So I'll just finish mass producing these, and then we'll go. Uh, we'll go see what those endgame enchantments do, because they should be nice and strong. Oh, we're out of voice silk cloth. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see what she has. Actually, we should probably browse her wares too. I don't know which of these are going to be necessary. If any of them are. But it's better to Welcome have extras. Back. Okay, so what do we have? Valor. Attack power by 151, crit by 379, haste. Okay, that's pretty good. None of these are proc moves, though. That's a shame. Well, Valor seems like it's the best. Unfortunately, we need uh, phylacteries, phylactery which I think we get from the mana rifts. We also get stalwart. Yeah, it's just stat bonuses. It's a bit of a shame. But I'll I'll take it. Greetings, Either way, I... Star. Guess that's pretty much it. I'll have to go do some prep. Uh, I'm gonna probably run around the world looking for that stupid airship. Cause I have to kill one that actually has the uh, the mecha board, and that might take some time. Okay, yeah. So I will see you guys in the next episode of uh, Battle Chasers Night War. And as always, thanks for watching.